how to customize any WordPress theme without coding. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can customize your very own WordPress theme without having the need to know coding. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. And by the time you are done with this video, you will be able to customize any theme whatsoever. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can change your fonts, how you can change the background images, how you can change look and feel of your theme. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video. So first things first, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I'm logged into my WordPress website over here, my dashboard. This is my dashboard right here. What I want to go is I want to go over here into plugins. I'm going to go over here and click on add new plugin. By clicking on that option, it takes me over to the plugin store right here. And over here, we're going to download two or three plugins that I usually recommend. The first one is Elementor. It's basically a website builder tool that helps you to edit your website and build your website and everything as well. So it's really amazing. And then we have a bunch of different other ones as well, such as this one right here, Seed Pro. It's basically also a website builder that can help you customize and build different website. And we also have the, a bunch of different other plugins as well. But for this video, I'm just simply going to choose Elementor. So once you have installed Elementor and activated it, it's going to pop up over here onto the left side. Now, let's just go ahead and simply install a theme and edit it out. So I'm going to go into my appearance section over here i'm going to click on themes and it's going to take me over to the theme store where i have as you can see a bunch of different themes so right now i have the astra theme activated but i want to try the ocean wp so i'm going to go ahead and click on activate all right so as you can see this theme has been activated but i want to check out some more detail about this theme so i'm going to click on theme I'm going to click on starter templates and it's going to take me over to the starter template section where I have a bunch of different themes for this theme specifically. As you can see, we have a bunch of different options. So let's just choose any theme that we have. So over here, as you can see, we have some themes that are premium and some that are free. So let's go ahead and choose a free theme that we like. So over here, I'm going to choose this one, the fourth one over here. It's an outdoor adventure type theme. So I'm going to choose that. And once you click on it, it gives you the option to upload a logo over here. So you can go ahead and upload a logo if you want and then you can adjust the logo width and height of it as well so i'm going to go ahead and upload it so over here this is the logo that i want i'm just simply going to select it click on select and as you can see this is the logo and as you can see it's really big and i want it to go a little bit smaller so i'm going to keep it like that it also depends on you on how you like it once you've uploaded it just simply click on continue and, and then you will move on into the another step where you can just choose the overall look of your theme so over here you have your default color palette you can change your color palette to whatever you want so as you can see we can change it to blue sky blue so aqua green orange or pink or purple whatever you think it is and then we have this purple one over here so i think the default one looks already nice and the blue one as well but it doesn't match the logo so i'm going to choose the pink one that matches a little bit of with the logo and yeah once you've selected it, you can go ahead and choose different fonts as well. So we have a bunch of different fonts over here. Just simply click on it and then you can view those fonts and then you can choose whichever one you want. So this was the default one. I really like the Lato ones as well and the Montserrat ones as well. I think I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to click on continue and then we have this option right here we just have to select what things that we want we want to import the content widget customize settings install and activate astra themes delete the previous imported sites and stuff like that so we just simply click on submit and build my site what it will do now is it will install and download the required plugins fonts and stuff like that for this website and once it's done it will let us know that our website has been built and then we can move on to edit the website so get a few seconds so i'm actually going to go ahead and pause this video and i will catch you guys in a little bit and as you can see our website has been built it just took 43 seconds to build a website now let's go ahead and click on view your site to view our site give it a few seconds to load up and as you can see this is how it looks like so it's a pretty decent website with really really nice theme and overall fonts but what if you wanted to edit it to make it your own so what we'll have to do is since we installed this editor right here called elementor now we have the option edit with elementor simply click on it and it's going to take us to the website editor where we can edit the website to our needs so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options over here on the left side which we can insert some of these options are pros 
so those are the ones that are locked so we can't use those options because in order to use them we need to have the pro version of the site but as you can see we have the option right here so let's go ahead and do that so first things first let's go ahead and change this option right here which has a bunch of different options so let's just assume that this is a you know travel log or a you know overall photography type of website so we'll just select this option right here and we'll say welcome and as soon as I select this, as you can see on the left side, the content has been over here. We can go ahead and enter in a link as well. So whenever someone clicks on this button or this text, they will be taken over to a different website. You can paste that link over here as well. And we have our style as well, where we can choose the text of the color, the, the overall typography of it as well, and the strobe and the text shadow and the blend mode as well. So if I click on the edit mode, as you can see, we have our fonts over here. We have different fonts. As you can see right now, it's default. We can change the font over here. We can change the overall size as well. We have the white and transform and style as well. We have decorations. So if you want underline, so you can have an underline over it. If you want to have an overline, you have line through, you have none. Uh, it all depends on you. And then we have the line height as well. So you can go ahead and choose however you feel like it and once you edit what you will need to do is click on update at the bottom right here so keep remembering guys that if you whenever you make a change on a website just remember to click on update so that it is updated so that you don't forget now i do want this line over here as you can see what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete this line right i'm gonna go ahead and click on edit and what i will do is i will delete that line and now what I wanted to do is I wanted to add an underline over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in the line over here. So I want an underline as well. And we have the word spacing as well, but we're not going to do that. And once we've done that, we'll just click on update. And once that's done, we'll leave it at that. Next, what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And you can write whatever you want. So you can write like welcome to the website name or whatever. And you can leave it at that. So what I'm going to do is just simply going to write in the name of the website. So I'm going to write the tourist guide over here. Then I'm going to leave it at that. And we can even change the overall text stroke as well. So it all depends on you. You know, we have the shadow blend as well. So we'll add like a little shadow over here. Well, we can add like horizontal whatever even vertical as well so we'll just leave it at that and boom once that's done we can see we have some overlays as well color decor differences you know few normal multiple we'll just keep it normal over here and once that's done we'll just click on update that's done next thing what we can do is we can change the button so if we click on the button over here we can enter in the link to a different page of the website whenever someone clicks on this button they will be taken over to that page so over here you can change the overall uh you know the program for this button so you can see you have your text over here you can change the text to whatever so you can say like explore over here you can add that it all depends on you so as you can see it's really simple it's really easy to you know um change and edit the website and what if you wanted to add like a section so to add a section what you'll need to do is you'll simply click on hover your mouse over a specific section so this is a section right here so when i come over here there is an outline a blue outline of a box over here and what i will do is i can just simply click on add a section and then another section will be added so over here as you can see this is a section now we'll just click on add it a you know structure so now we can select whatever we want so let's just say we want a blanks over here so over here we have heading we have image we have text editor we have video button and stuff like that so what if we wanted to add a video so we'll just come over here we'll click on video and drag it over here and drop it into this section and now what will happen is this video will be played over here now let's go ahead and as you can see this is the default link that is set to over here now what if we wanted to you know change it so what we'll do is we'll go over to youtube over here as you can see and let's just pick out a video so let's go ahead and say travel vlog and we can just add any of this over here so let's go ahead and add this one we'll just pause that we'll just copy the link and we'll come over here and we'll select all of this and remove that and paste our own link over here and as you can see this is it so over here we have a bunch of different options so we have autoplay 
we have mute we have loop we have play controls and modest banding and privacy mode you can do all of that your own and then we have a lazy mode as well so if you want you can show it and hide it you can auto play it yes i want it to be auto played yes i want it to be played on mobile i don't want it to be mute i don't want it to be loop and stuff like that once you've done that just simply click on update and boom you're set to go now that's basically it so we can edit a lot of different things according to this website and we can even add a bunch of different other things as well so for example like if i wanted to add like a separator over here so what i would do is click on edit this section all right would come over here and click on style and at the bottom we have shape divider we'll click on shape divider click on bottom and now we can add a bunch of different shape dividers as well so over here as you can see and i wanted to have like uh mountains as well like this one uh, because that looks pretty nice so i will choose that and then we can change the width of it as well we can change the height and i will keep it like this and then we can even like you know bring it to front and i don't want to flip it as well you can even flip it it all depends on you you can even set the uh, overall color of it as well so let's just keep it white for now because it looks good then we just simply click on update and boom that's it so these are all the things that you needed to know about that's how you basically you know edit a your own wordpress website without the need to code and once you've added it to your liking what you'll need to do is just simply click on these three options over here and then just simply click on exit to dashboard and your website will be saved and you can view it later so if i come over here i simply click on visit site boom as you can see this is the website right here this is how it looks like and everything is working and the video will auto play as well so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye